Yeah, we are. What's up, family and friends? Hello. My name is Blessing. That's my daughter. I'm 17. Blessing from above. I mean, blessing from me, not from above, you know. You did that on As purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it used Mark. to be like uh, that was my uh, scent so as I say I went and pick her up for us to have fun you know father and daughter fun so let me take this shit out that I've driven here before where? here this road you driven? Mm -hmm. in her car? no in the Oh, okay. So, we just having fun driving around. Right? It's a good day. He's gonna eat soup. And I'm gonna <laughs> eat rice. <laughs> what soup? Egusi soup. Egusi. I used to mix, like it. Mix with a draw. Yeah. Uh, so that's my daughter, okay? And she's she's graduating June. Yep. And she got a new car to drive to. <laughs> so I, I said let me show her because when I was I remember when I was seventeen I I didn't even know how to drive bicycle. That means <laughs> my family, you know, did not buy me a bicycle or something like that. But 17, going to 18, now she'll be driving car. Driving car, like, I see. You see how things change, you know? The world is changing, not ending. And that's what we must learn in this life. Things change. You know, we're supposed to be better than Your parents. Or, or no, our parents or how we used to be before because it is not the fault of our parents that they born us in poverty. Right? Wait, why so, do you think that? Why I think that? Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, because they knew they not, were poor when they gave of, birth to you. Yeah, but it's not their fault. Like they 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 were poor but they have hope. They were having children with hope, like oh, that you okay, guys. things we change. It's, it's, uh, it's true that most of our people we believe it's God that gives children and it's God that trains children, which is all lies. God does not give children and God does not train children. It is parents that have sex to have children, and it's parents that we work to train their children. No God does that for us, but that's what we were taught. But we are waking up as we grow up because those faith and beliefs they give to us are bullshit. Why? <laughs> because what Friendy brings? keeps saying stuff that I know you're going to respond to. What? He said, you testify in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you testify? In the name of Jesus. And oh, you said, really? God bless you. You testify in the name of Jesus. Who is that? Oh, uh, maybe Bendy. the person. Uh, maybe the person is not on my friend list or he just... So, but you know, that's what our people always say. You testify in the name of Jesus, and we are dying in the name of Jesus. Our ancestors were enslaved in the name of Jesus. So they use this Jesus nonsense to mess us up as a people. You know, we can't think straight anymore. I don't think so. I think you, me personally, I think you take Jesus the way uh, you want to. Like, um, I'm 17. I was raised in church. I still go to church. Mm -hmm. But there's some things that I see in church that I'm like, oh, like, come on. Like, this is acting. Like, you know, you pick and choose what you want to believe. If you want your religion to eat you whole, then it's going to eat you whole. If you don't allow it to eat you whole. There's some people that are Christian that don't even do some stuff that I'm doing. They can't even have hoops in their ears. They can't even okay. wear this. Mm -hmm. So, it is what you want. Okay, see, see what you say, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not your belief. If you say right. you were raised in that, you say you were raised. So it wasn't your belief. Because when you were tender, I used to take you to church, right? Mm -hmm. And you can't tell me that time you're not going. I must wake you up, dress you up. You are going with me. Mm -hmm. 
the same thing your mom did the same thing to you right mm -hmm. taking you so it was never your choice but now it could be my choice no, my mom it, doesn't take it, now, to it, it will be your choice when you know the whole truth about it but you haven't known the whole truth about it you are talking about your feelings like you still see church as your social club play like social mm -hmm. gathering place that's how you just see church and that's how many people in america take church too unlike in africa you know in america people they go to church still go to club live their normal life fuck anyone they want you know but in africa no you know what it means to go to church or be a christian in africa <laughs> they pretend they hide all their true feelings or whatever they hide it but they will be claiming that they know like now if i you, you believe in god right mm -hmm. have you seen god no can you see god no why because you just can't oh so so if you can't so why are you worshiping what you can't you what know what makes know? me laugh about my dad what, <laughs> <laughs> what? you you still believe in god that's what makes me laugh so yeah, the questions right. you're asking me and i know you used to read the bible a lot so the mm. questions you're asking me you know the answer you already know the yeah answer. that's why so i'm telling you I, I know the answer and i want you to reason with the answer <laughs> i used to believe right yeah yeah not i used but to let know. me i don't understand why you stopped believing yes you said you did your research and stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that is i don't think that's why okay <laughs> let me say i say i'm your father right mm -hmm. me and your mother we tell you we are your parents mm -hmm. then for only you to grow up and find out we are not okay what will you do it's my choice if i want you no it's okay. not choice no adopted. your parents no you were not even adopted you were kidnapped okay you'll find out we are not your parents and your real parents right mm -hmm. are alive mm -hmm. even your real parents are richer than us better than us they will treat you better who are your parents who are my parents? Yeah. The ones that raised me. No, you didn't yes. hear what I just said. I said they kidnap you. Yeah. From your parents. Okay. Right? Your parents look for you. They didn't see you anymore. Then now you grown. Your parents didn't even tell you that they uh, that those parents that kidnap you didn't even tell you they kidnap you. They were telling you that you know they gave back to you. They are the one they went through. They suffered. They many things about for you. Now you you have grown. To find out they lie to you they don't actually love you okay, okay they just pretend to love you but they don't and they have plan that time is coming when they will do away with you or whatever okay. right will you say who is your real parents my real real parents thank you so will you now you know the truth will you continue with the lies no so that's why i ask you do you believe in but God? You can't you say? say it's a lie when you yourself don't have proof. You did. I say your parents are still living. You are parents. No, no. I'm talking about your real example about God now. Yeah, you that's what I'm saying. The real example about God now is this: Can you see God? Can you see God? No. Is God alive? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> are you alive? Yeah. Can I see you? Yeah. You don't have to see things. I don't see the air I breathe. I'm not talking about breathing. things. I know you can see the air. There are some, of course, you can see the airwave. You want me to show we'll you the airwave? Leave the winter time. That's the winter no, time. No, not the say. Okay, there's time you see it, right? Okay, I still agree with you. So think about it. If God is alive, yeah, you believe God is alive. Yeah. You believe God is all powerful. Mm -hmm. He can do all things. Yeah. So, is there any good reason for you not to see God that is alive and all powerful? But you see him when you die. So no, that's him. that's not. <laughs> it's like telling you, oh, blessing, I will buy a car for you when you die. Yeah, I will. Con I will do your burial ceremony with car mm -hmm. while you are walking all your life. But I just feel like there's some things in life that mm -hmm. is unexplainable. I'm talking about you should have been dead. Yeah, well, it's, it's about... unexplainable to you, but not to everyone. If you, there is somebody somewhere that can explain it. Okay, if like... this car goes boom, mm -hmm. car crash, mm -hmm. we survive. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to be dead. That's not us. I'm sorry. Who? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's somebody from above. Okay, so, <laughs> so somebody brings that. stone and hit your head, you die. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. You know why? It's the impact. It has nothing to do with God. You, you can have accident. If the impact did not touch you, nothing will happen. To you 
But if he hits you, of course. Okay, see the guy that used to play soccer with us in Orange Park. Mm -hmm. He he got an accident and died in the accident because nobody was there. Okay, see my the other co-worker. is a lady. He, she was riding a bike in the like two a.m. Right? She's a mother of a, of one kid. Then she got an accident. They find the, the, the bike here and they find her body over there. She died because nobody was there to save her. You get that? Yeah. Some people have had this accident and died because nobody was there to save them. Have you seen people that are involved in accident? They are, they, they, the vehicle press their body so much, they have to saw the vehicle to bring them out. Mm -hmm. If they didn't do that, do you think they will survive? No. They will bleed to death. Okay, but this is my example that I like to give. Mm -hmm. Some Christians like to say, oh, if you pray, it will come to pass. Mm -hmm. That's BS. That's not how it works Thank to you. me. Uh, to me, you. it works. You have to go to work okay, every wait, day. Wait, wait, wait. But you can also pray. Uh, uh, yes, because uh, okay. you can pray. No, prayer, prayer. And then my dad likes to say prayer is an emotion or singing gospel songs is an emotion. No, yeah, it's not. Yeah, just like... This is real life. This is not a dream. Okay, wait. He said... You, you have to still go walk, right? Yes. But you believe with God, all things are possible. Yeah, but you, so, you wait, take wait, it wait, 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 no. You have to. You take if it's it not, to listen, literal. if you cannot take it literal, then leave it. If you still have to go and walk, you must be stupid to say you are praying. For what? Do you know how they instituted prayer, how they started prayer? It's slaves that were praying. Children of the slave masters weren't praying. Pray for what? Their father provide for them. Okay, if I provide, wait, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I am your father, right? Mm -hmm. Do I give you money when you need money? Yeah. Because you ask me, right? Mm -hmm. Because you are not working. Yeah. If you are working and have money, will you ask me to give you money? Mm -hmm. No. Thank you. So it's when you don't have, you ask. Then that's the question. The next question is this. Who put you in the position of not having because that's where black people are missing it also. It depends where you grew up. No, not depends. First, black people have everything. They are in rich. Mm -hmm. Even to today, white people still go to Africa to get everything. Mm -hmm. Without black people, they don't have real life. Without black people, without Africans, mm -hmm. other race don't have because they don't do nothing. They were illiterate in the in the, in antiquity. Yeah, that's in the ancient time. It were, it were the Africans that taught them. Africans were not going about taking other people's stuff or stealing because they have it. Even the trees they have produced for them. So if you said your God can provide what you need, right? Mm -hmm. All you need to do is to ask. And he said that in the book. In the Bible, ask yeah. and you shall be given. Mm -hmm. Ask you shall receive. Okay, Seek but, you will find wait. But things take time. No, you see, he didn't say that. He didn't say ask. It will take time for you to receive. That's what I'm because saying. you have wait. to use your common sense. Yeah, though. that's common sense. Tells, that's what I'm telling you. Common sense does. This is what common sense does. Common sense tell you that if you need something, you work for it. Anything that tell you to pray for it to happen, it's not common sense. There's no wisdom in it. That's why I keep saying there's no wisdom in faith. There's no truth in faith because faith means you didn't see something but you believe it exists. Right? Mm -hmm. That means you are hallucinating or you are delusional. You do not see it. You cannot see it, but you say it exists. Like somebody said, God exists. Then you said, when you hear things about God, don't take it literally. Why not? If I tell you, I will. How many times have I promised you and failed you? Huh? Not really? Thank you. So anytime I promise you something, I do it, right? Mm -hmm. You know why I do that? Because I'm your daughter. <laughs> Thank you, because I'm your father. Because I don't want you to be like, uh, at least you believe. Even before you get to this stage, you used to believe I can kill everybody, right? I can do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Because you are my daughter. Every, ch every child or every children do that. They believe their parents, and that's why our parents indoctrinated us because we believe them. We we see our parents as you know they can give us everything we need, mm -hmm. and that's why when we ask our parents, like when we are little, they don't give us. You see children from their face begin to cry eh, eh, because their parents did not give to them. Mm -hmm. You see that. Yeah. So when you say you believe in God, he said believe. Do you know that in that belief there is that word L I E? Huh? Mm -hmm. What is L-I-E? Lie. 
So do you believe in lie? No. But you say you believe. Okay, but this is a question for you, <laughs> what? viewers. When you were a Christian or whatever you want to call yourself, now that you're not, nothing in your life has upgraded, downgraded, you're still the same person. So what's the difference? What, what did you gain or lose? Nothing. So it's like you you did this for what? No, let me answer for myself. Okay. So the, we, uh, the viewers will answer for themselves. I gain a lot. I change a lot. Remember, we don't change. Yes, we do. It, no, it's, we change our situation. We change our mind. We change our faith. But we remain the same. I thought you it's said still you the same. Yeah, I didn't say, but did I say anything faith? No. I said we change because we are gods and goddesses. A man is a god, a woman is goddess. What is God? Yes, you can say that, but. No, what is God? What is power. God? No, the word God simply means something or someone that creates. Not created, creates. You have the ability to change things, to create things, to make things happen. But we have the will and the power to make things happen. But I didn't create earth. Did who tell you earth was created? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, who tell I asked you a question. You said you didn't create earth. Mm -hmm. Who told you that the earth were created? The Bible? I'm confused with you. Like See, it's, it's religious, it's people that tell you that before the Bible, our ancestors have been having that creation hey, theory. Who the ancestors that's what i want to know the day you can tell me where i came from i don't want to hear the universe i just tell you where you came from where do you eat from what do you mean where i eat from the store yeah, the, the food, food you eat from where the it comes from? from the ground okay well when you die Somebody where will you wait 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 when you die where will you be buried in the ground okay if i tell you now that our ancestors created the nature you see the heaven and earth will you believe that one that's what I'm telling you. So you say no now because you already believe what somebody put in a book called the Bible or mm -hmm. Holy Book. But you don't, you don't know that people have different versions of creation theory before the Bible. People believe there was a, um, the, uh, uh, maybe like uh, something started creating something. That's why it, evolution, yeah, stuff like that. That's so evo uh, uh, see evolution people. So uh, will you be against them? But there, none of us know actually how we we started. Yes. Okay. That's what. I'm wait. Saying. Wait. 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 None of us know. So for, if you say you know, mm -hmm. you're wrong. So none of us know, mm -hmm. right? So but we know. We came into being when a man and a woman have sex, right? Mm -hmm. That's natural way we know. And in nature, nature have opposite. I mean, uh, opposite, yeah, where there is man, there is woman. Where there is up, there is down. When there is right, right there is left, right? Mm -hmm. And the nature will teach you that one person cannot create anything with life in it. Okay. A man cannot have a child without a woman. Mm -hmm. A woman cannot have a child without a man. That's nature, right? Mm -hmm. So, but who was the first person or how we came forth in this world? Nobody knew. So, because I don't know, you want me to believe the lie that I know Christianity taught me. Why does it have to be a lie? Okay, going based on what you said, right? No, I say it's a lie because they copied from our ancestors. Okay, even me, mm -hmm. sometimes I'd be like... <laughs> What if there's no God? Like, honestly, if you say that you don't think about it, you're lying to yourself because everybody thinks about it. I think even the Christians of all the Christians think about that, right? But it's a feeling and you know the feeling. And that's what I go back to the same question I asked you. What has changed in your life? If you stop being a Christian and you became a millionaire and you have proof or something, then maybe more people would um, take your side. But yeah, but that's what, no, you. yeah, You're still lot, the same person. No, that's what I was answering, right? Mm -hmm. For example, myself, a lot has happened. And that's what I was saying to you. Uh, when I was a Christian, mm -hmm. eh, I was not living the life I'm living now. I was not living free life. Why? I have to you wake up. To no, no. It has the, if you belong to any religion or any court, you have to abide by <laughs> their rules. Cult. Yeah, court is religion. <laughs> what is court? What is court? A group of, I don't know, like demonic stuff. I don't know. Or no, just it's a not group. demonic. Court is, church is court. Court is a group of people that get up and say, this is what we believe in. This is what we know. For you to know what we know, you have to join us. 
Okay, that's yeah, cult. that's a cult. Mm -hmm. So people that hide knowledge, that's what I mean. Why do you say Illuminati? You, you use these heavy words like hide knowledge? Like yeah, some the, people don't know, that, so you can't no, say that's that. what that's why I, I say it and they spell it at the same time. Like I say, Illuminati church. Uh, in Igbo land, we have masquerade. All those things are caught. They made it up. But when it comes to nature, you don't hide it. You don't hide the song. Can you hide the song from some people? No. It's for everyone because it's the truth. It's nature. So when you say now you are no longer a Christian, what have you said? I have saved a lot. What? I don't waste my time going to anywhere in the name of God. I have not seen. Hey, like, in the last I don't five years, you haven't mm -mm. been to church and you were That's Christian. what I'm saying. I'm not giving, no. I'm not giving tithe and the offering anymore. I'm saving more money now. When I were have... you? Not, I'm not talking about when I was a kid in Nigeria. I'm talking about mm. like 12, 13, 14. You mm. didn't go to church and stuff. I was you going, were living yeah. the same place. No, I was going to church in oh, Montclair. Well, I didn't, oh, I didn't know you were going to church. Yeah, be, because he didn't know, you see. So you're supposed to know. When you say, ask somebody, what do you gain? A lot. If you know what, you don't even know Christianity. Because you are you you came to America very tender. So if you if you grew up in Nigeria and know how at least even you you know how you go to church now, right? Mm -hmm. The reason why you are not that serious is because of me, kinda. You I keep talking to you and you're beginning to see that oh it's not just as you say, it's emotional something. You say you are going to church just to socialize. Yeah. Okay. So I go to church to socialize, but I still pray by myself. That's church what I'm saying. That, but that, but prayer you are praying is useless because if you if after your prayer, mm -hmm. you still have to go and walk. Okay. okay. No, it's not though. okay. If it's okay, then you are wasting your time praying because you're supposed to walk. Okay. Let's say the people you, don't pray for money. God, I want money. That's not how it works. Whatever it is, whether it's money, you pray for strength, for health, whatever exactly. you... Why that's what I'm you? saying is bullshit because you see coronavirus now. Mm -hmm. Did prayer stop it? No. How do you know Did God didn't send it? No. I, uh, do you worship a God that sent evil? <laughs> Maybe he sent it because people are wayward and he wanted to set them and straight. And they have power to fix them, right? Yeah. Okay. Should I support... Wait, 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 wait. Can I key you not to solve any problem? No. So if God, for any reason, send it, that God is stupid. That God is useless. And for you to worship such God, you must also be stupid and useless to yourself. You are <laughs> you not using your brain. Like that. Yeah, if you're not using your brain. No. Okay, somebody can, I can argue wait, the same wait, point okay, as you are a woman. Say... Wait, you are a woman, mm -hmm. right? A boy, right? Mm -hmm. Coming to rape you. Eh? And she really, he really wants to rape you. Will you accept her as your friend? No. So if there is no reason for God Almighty, God that has all the power to save people, to say he's bringing disease or sickness, to teach people anything or to do anything. So stay to your question. When, when you leave religion, you save a lot. Number one, you will, you will no longer be hating people because of their belief. Religious people do that, and they don't know when they do that because uh, the more you hear those words, it creates something in you. Anything in you believe affects you. And somebody else that don't believe that, then you will begin to show some animosity or some hatred unknowingly, although you love them. You get what I mean? Yeah, that's fact. Christians uh, judge people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And did you know why they do that? Personally, they wouldn't do that. It's because of their faith and beliefs. No, oh, I feel like it's the way their parents raised them, what they saw. No, that's what parents raised them in that religion. They read that book. It's, do you know all the characters in the Bible never existed in human history? Mm -hmm. But you are believing in it, give, give it life. You, are believing, you believe when you read the story of Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. You believe. But the person your, that wrote the Bible, how did they know that was going to happen? Like Sodom and Gomorrah? That's what I'm... No, it never happened. It happened... Okay. You see, oh, like, when I... Uh, the, the, the policeman that just killed that black man. Mm -hmm. Right? If you meet a good story writer, they can write a lot of story from that. And that they can make up things and tell you this is what really happened. Why it never happened. But that... And when you read it, and because they tell you such things do happen, you believe. But if you don't believe it, it's bullshit. Okay, remember what you're saying, like, um, you believe God. The reason why you believe God is because your parents believe God first. 
Had it been you were born in a family mm -hmm. where they don't believe in God, you wouldn't be saying what you're saying. You, you, you will say, man, it's your choice. Christianity was never your choice. I'm, I'm your father. It was never your choice. I was preaching too. But I can be... I was playing gospel music, all that. As you dance, I dance. We worship, all that bullshit. We pray sometimes. But now I'm no longer a Christian. Do you see me forcing you? Do you see me say, blessing, you must go to me somewhere? Have you seen me done that? No. So because I'm no longer a Christian, I'm no longer religious. I let people live their life. But for us to go... <laughs> no, you don't. No, I say I let people live their life. But if, if, you, if you want us to be close... Right, you have to trash religion because why? I know that's like saying if you want me to be close to you, I'm gonna cut you off. That's dumb. Mm -mm. You're gonna cut off beliefs because it will be problem to us. I know that in in, in eternally, you mm -hmm. not on you, you will not do that, right? Okay, for example, now you believe in Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. I don't believe in Jesus. Mm -hmm. What will happen to those who believe in Jesus? I mean, who don't believe in Jesus? Going to hell. So, you know, you just say I'm going to hell. <laughs> and I'm your father. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so imagine me, imagine me, you know, imagine me throwing you into fire when you are little because you did something I don't like. I used to spank you, right? Mm -hmm. But do you have any mark on your body where I hurt you? No. So, but you see some people, they say, God make them cripple. God do this. God is. It. This person said, God forgives you, bro. <laughs> 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 That's bullshit. <they> <laughs> Okay, so like me personally, I don't like when my dad says Christians are stupid and stuff because that's like me saying uh, he's stupid for thinking he's a god. Like, I just keep negative stuff to myself. No, I so don't I think like I don't think I'm God. Am I your father? Yeah, I thought you just said we're God and God. No, I'm. He say you. He say when I think, I want to explain to you. I'm not thinking about that. I know. Okay, it's but not, I don't I call think, you And stupid. I can prove it. No, you call me worse. You say I'm going to hell. <laughs> no, I didn't. I said because it's life, though. I can go to hell, too. If I no. die right now, I'm probably going to go to hell. I didn't repent, Then if right? you can go to hell, what, what is the meaning of you having God? What do you mean? Yeah, if you can go to hell. If you can go to hell when you die and you believe in but God, But you don't right? think bad people should go bad places? Which places? You don't think the cop who made that them just bad? killed the man should go to hell? Who I made? Think he should go to hell. Who? The guy that just killed that black man. He no, should he's supposed burn eternally. No, justice. Justice? What? Going to jail is not justice. He needs to die. What is that? Death. <laughs> Fairness. Justice, right? You kill. You be ki if you kill, you will be killed. Mm -hmm. But he's not. Right? Like that. mm -hmm. That's what. That's why it's injustice. That's why people are getting upset. They just fire them, but people want them Dead. to be either jailed or killed mm -hmm. because they killed a young man mm -hmm. like that. Okay, so when you're talking about, I'm not the one saying that Christians are stupid. They are saying that themselves. How? Because Christians say they are sheep. <laughs> so what is sheep known for? An animal. I'm confused. <laughs> so are you an animal? No. But you're sheep of Christ? Yeah, but see, you took it too literal. I think you can say, okay, say, okay, wait, okay, wait. God, if I, I say, if I say you are a woman, am I taking it too literal? No. So why, why not say you are a human being? Why am I saying you are a woman? I'm both, technically. Uh, thank you. So you have to be specific when you are talking. If I tell you I can raise the dead, mm -hmm. right? I should raise the dead. But if I, I tell you no, I just say it in a word. You are taking it too literally. No, yeah, say I can raise the dead. So then let me raise the dead. Okay, but he can do all those things when he wants to because he is God. <laughs> he cannot, if God can do anything, you won't be suffering the way you're suffering. You won't be going through what you're going through. That's your belief. You are still. I think some people have different paths in life. Different paths. You, know, you may be right. He says some people have different paths. It's, so that's the same way, like saying we have individual differences. There are food. You are my daughter, right? Mm -hmm. But there are things you eat I don't eat. Mm -hmm. And there are things like when you were growing up, I remember when I give you certain food, you say, no, 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 I'm trying to force you to eat it. Yeah? Because I meant to wear, I say, I want you to eat, I want you to eat, no, no, no. you'll be crying. But I still, you're going to eat it, you're going to eat it, you're going to eat it. Mm -hmm. But now I can't do that no more. Mm -hmm. 
You see that? So that's how it is. But remember, you are talking about God and the people. Then people believe they are sheep of God. So if God is my father, what am I supposed to be? A child. Fa God. Oh, you are like, human. I'm I don't human. disagree when you say that. Okay, God wait, is God. That, thank <laughs> right? you. So you are human because mm -hmm. your parents are human. Yeah. You cannot be animal. So why is your God, eh? Almighty, is your shepherd? That's human, uh, mm -hmm. human being or superhuman, but you are sheep. You get that? Yeah. Okay. So and you see that person that said God forgives you. You see he's stupid and. It seems to be a lady. Because most times it's ladies that say bullshit. Okay, I, I think, think it's, it's a, a guy. Okay. And if you look at him... But like, you can't say be... that though. Because he could say the same thing about you. So it's, the argument no, goes if both I, ways. I, I wouldn't tell him God forgives you. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that to him. Because I am not stupid. It takes a stupid person to tell you God forgive you. Have you seen because that God? No. You don't believe in God. That's why you think that. You didn't hear that's what I say. Okay, why but... why I don't believe in God? I if somebody asks you why research. why is your father don't believe in God, what would be your question? Your answer? My dad did his research. That's literally what I would say. Okay, so let me tell you again, in case somebody asks you anywhere so you can answer them well. Mm -hmm. My father don't believe in God because God it's not real. God cannot show up and speak for himself. He doesn't think God is real. That's what I'm saying. Not I think. Mm -hmm. I am real. You are real, right? Mm -hmm. Get out. But why didn't no, you get out? Let me I, get, I want to show you something. <laughs> show you something. Get out. Now stay there, right? Mm -hmm. Now these people cannot see you. Mm -hmm. And I tell them I have a daughter. And my daughter is alive. They're going to believe you. Wait, my daughter is here. They, they believe me, right? Mm -hmm. Then somebody asks me, where is your daughter? I want to see your daughter. I say, no, don't worry. You must not see everything. It's not everything you see. Yeah. Do you see the wind? Do you see your brain? You get that? Mm -hmm. I say that. Then for me, saying that means oh. I am stupid. Because I, I, I said my daughter is alive. My daughter is can, it's, real. Can, mm -hmm. uh, it's real and i say my daughter is here but i can't show them my daughter it means i'm an imposter i'm lying <laughs> i'm deceiving them okay. but how do i prove to them that i have a daughter okay come but in you know, come in said, come in you come said in. you watch those videos come right? in come in come in see that this is not video this is you you don't need anything to if you are really alive right mm -hmm. you don't need anything or anyone to even speak for you Unless you are unable to do that. Unless you are locked up, sick, you lost your mind. So that's when somebody we speak for you. But mm -hmm. if you are alive and well, you can speak for yourself. Mm -hmm. As God's supposed to be. As Jesus is supposed to be. They're supposed to be the one speaking for themselves. Are you not the one speaking here now? Mm -hmm. Okay, try to speak. Hello. Mm -mm. I, I, <laughs> I want to stop you. Uh, right? Mm -hmm. You see how you, you, you will not even take it. Mm -hmm. uh, although I'm your father, but you won't take it. So the God that you believe exists, mm -hmm. the God you worship, remember you say he's almighty, he can do all things. So why is it impossible for God to show up? You don't think he's going to show up one day? Not I don't think. I, did. I just <laughs> asked you a question. <laughs> I said, if that, God, if, God, if that God is alive mm -hmm. right and can do all things mm -hmm. is it impossible for god to show up now no so why can't he show up now? why don't you ask him yourself he doesn't want to <laughs> i don't know how to answer your question no, he i know i know you know you see when you say you're praying you're talking to god who where is god you are talking to up there up where up there what is <laughs> the address <laughs> What do you number mean? two cloud street <laughs> yeah i don't know like or number two number two a avenue like no you are you are you can you listen i i see you in dreams sometimes right mm -hmm. you are my daughter i see you in dreams sometimes right i speak with you over the phone sometimes mm -hmm. right is that is that what we are doing now no so i see you face to face mm -hmm. i can talk i can touch you 
right? Mm -hmm. uh, is, is, that's how it's supposed to be with God, uh, Jesus. When you believe they are alive. you feel. Not how I feel. It's common sense. It's something, that's why I use you as an example. Anything you believe about God, use yourself as an example. Can you jump? Yeah. I ask you to jump. You jump, right? Yeah. To prove you can jump. Mm -hmm. But you say you can jump. I ask you to jump. You say no. I believe I can jump. But you're paralyzed. I believe I can jump. But you, can, you can't. If you can jump, somebody say, can you, uh, you jump? You just jump because you say you can. But nobody will just walk up to you and say jump. You say you're crazy. The only time somebody will ask you to jump is when you claim that you can jump. So if you claim that God is alive and exists, that's when I can ask you, let God, let God speak for himself. Let him show up. The dead people don't speak. So the what did you used to say when people used to ask you that? You can just answer your own what? question. Ask me what? When, when we used to go to Orange Park and people used to say all those examples, I know you used to stick up for God. So it's the same it's thing. I, I, you just I, reversed it, literally. No, you, you remember the guy that used to preach in Orange that there is no God? Mm -hmm. You remember him? Mm -hmm. So, and what I was saying to him was what Christianity taught me. But how many God do we have? One. How do you know it's one? Do That's you have true. different? You how about one. most? It could you. be more than one. <laughs> okay, so if there is God at all, why do Christians, for example, that have believe in one God, Jehovah, eh? mm -hmm. why all none of them have? Exact, exact the same description of that God. I don't believe there's a they have the God. Yeah, they are. They have different. They no, have, there's paintings, but who says the No, real? forget about paintings. I'm talking about if I ask you now, you believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. How do God look? I don't know. Okay, you don't know. Okay, tell me about the God you believe in. He's invisible. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't know, like, oh, like I don't believe in that white picture you, you see, see in the churches. That's what, that's what, no, that's what faith does. You see, you say you believe in God, you know the God you serve. Mm -hmm. Somebody asks you, how is that? Does God that God look? You switch to blind, uh, uh, color blind mode. No, nah, that is invisible. So if it's invisible, why are you talking about him? Why are you worshiping him? But why? Listen, to my question to you: Why does it bother you so much? It doesn't you bother. No, it bothers. Yeah, it bothers uh, no, it, you it doesn't bother me. You only, I only say when I see people. If, are they being you don't believe in God, right? Mm -hmm. I won't be talking about it. I have to hear it from somebody or how somebody act. Okay, now you say you believe in God, mm -hmm. then you call me. I need money. Mm -hmm. I say, who can God provide the money? The reason why you call me because I'm real. I'm your father. But God is supposed to be your father also, right? Mm -hmm. So, did you call God? Oh, God, I need money. Give it to me. And he gave it to you. Can God do that? But why can't he come in I ask forms? you a question. No. Can God give you money when you need money? No. Answer me. Thank you. Because if you do, next time you call me for money, I will tell you, let God provide. I can only okay. pay the child support I'm paying. But apart from child support, you say you need something. I want to buy uh, clothes or something. We used to go shopping, right? Mm -hmm. Has God taken you out for shopping? No. But you say God is real. Oh, you're waiting when you die. You go to heaven. <laughs> you see, my people, I hate religion. Religion is useless. That's my daughter. She still believes in God. I'm not forcing her. The reason why I still spend time with her is because she's my daughter. If she's not my daughter, I will not. So she's my, I will not force her. My parents did not force me to hold the truth I hold now. My parents are still Christians. Right? But me, I decided to follow knowledge. Knowledge of factual but truth. I think it bothers you. Because you get, you get like, yeah, because angry inside. Like, you're that's mad what I say. That my people, people my people, you. my people are still trapped in that. Let, let's say I'm in prison. Mm -hmm. You are my daughter, right? Mm -hmm. Will you bother, bother you that I'm in prison? That you're in prison? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the same thing. It bothers me because my, many, majority of my people are still locked up in that prison called religion. In the name Why does of it God. Have to be a prison? Yeah, I'm because that's no what prison. it is. I still live my life. <laughs> no, you are not living. You are you are you are living your life, but mm -hmm. not your real life. You are living your life be, in belief. And you believe, remember what I say that is in a belief. L I E. Mm -hmm. Right? So you are living a lie. And the lie you are living is, you say there is God when there is no God. 
you say there is Jesus when there is no Jesus. Yeah, you say you say wait. Huh? Nothing happened to me. I'm right here. No, something happens to you. You are growing. No, but I'm not. In I'm still living life. Like thank I'm you. You are the one living the life. No God is living in. No God but is helping you. Why does it bother you if I say that? That's like that's like me saying it bothers me that you're saying all this. It doesn't. I don't. No, care. if you say, if you said that is God doing anything, it bother me because you are talking out of foolishness. God is not doing anything for you, and you say God is doing it. I have my own brain. I can, that's why we have our own brain mm -hmm. to think, to judge. Your mind is there for you to judge things. Mm -hmm. I I tell you, blessing God gave me this car. I just bought this car yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. I tell you, God gave me this car. I'm not going to believe you. That doesn't no, sense. I said, well, of course, you know, you will say, okay, yeah, let's thank, thank God. Yeah, I can say thank <laughs> God, but I'm not going to say God, but like there's some no. things that sound okay, stupid. Okay. That's Why are you thanking God then? Da -da. Because you didn't have the money by yourself. Yes, you went to work, but like... It's, I feel like, yes, this is my brain, but who instilled the brain in my head? That's how I you look at it. You were born with that brain. From who? Not, not the ground. No, from your parents. Daddy, you, you took a brain and put it in my head? No, you came, you, came, you came as a package. It's not a gift. Your brain, can, can somebody take out your brain and you leave? No. You can leave with as vegetables. <laughs> So, when you're talking about, is your packet, is your arm a gift? No. Oh. It can, you were born with it. There's nothing that is in you that is a gift. It's already in you. Even when you are oh, one minute old, mm -hmm. one year old, the things you have, they are just growing. And time will come when you get old and do what? Die. Die and still come back because your life is there. Do you think this is the first time you have been in this world? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see. Maybe but, I'm gonna live again, but I think so <laughs> no, now. So have Maybe to, I'm have, the first. You have not found out. That's why you have to find out. There are some people that have natural ability to know. So if, what are you gonna do if you meet God? Which God? Let's say if. What are you gonna do? Uh, if supposed you to can't be now. Run. No, if suppose if if there is God, God listen, tomorrow, if there is God do, No, not to why, why tomorrow now? It's supposed okay, to be if now. he comes now, what would you do? Let, I, I will know him. <laughs> okay, that's all you want. Do I believe in you? No, I mean, did I, do I believe, believe blessing exists? No, I know. Okay. Believe, what? when you believe something, you don't know that, and that's why you believe, which is common sense. All of us, we have certain things we don't know. Yeah, but we, we believe. believe. Mm -hmm. Then we prove it. How do I prove it? I believe I'm going to be a psychologist. How am I going to Thank you. You it? prove it by going to where? School. That's not Pass true. your exams. Yeah, that's you have to graduate. Proving something means it's already there. No, proving something is like when you said, as I said for it before, I can jump. Mm -hmm. You prove it by jumping. So when you say you want to become a psychologist, mm -hmm. prayer will not give it to you. God will not give it to you. You have to go to school, study, pass the exam. And in that school, you will say no. What you taught me is bullshit. I will put it my own way. You will not pass. So you are the one that will work to become that psychologist. There is no God that will do that. Your parents cannot do that for you. Like your ancestors, they cannot do that for you. You are the one, as goddess, being a woman, that will work it out and it will happen. No power can stop you but you. So when you are talking about, I believe, yeah, you believe, then prove it. Can you prove what you believe? That's the difference. And that's where religious people drop down. Then when you go to that, they switch to, God will reveal himself to you. You know, one day you will see, which one day? One day is not a date. God is coming tomorrow. It's not, it's not, it's, it's nothing. It's empty word. Now. I can see you now, right? Okay, let me say, I, uh, oh, I'm going to see blessing tomorrow. And you are with me? No, I wouldn't say that. I would be stupid saying that. So if God is alive, if God is real and is all powerful, according to Mark chapter 10, verse 27, he said, with men, it is not possible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. So if all things are possible, my dear, there's no excuse. There's no reason. 
for it to be impossible for That's God to show up. That's why I feel like for you up. to even do the research in the first place, mm -hmm. I think something in your life didn't go well, and then you just got on your computer. That's what every religious people think. No, I keep telling you that. How okay. can you be Christian oh, wait, when wait, they wait, wake wait, up wait, 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 wait. <laughs> You know I have that car right there, right? Mm -hmm. That infinity, right? Mm -hmm. You know that's the car you grew up knowing I have, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I still have that car, right? Mm -hmm. Did I buy that car? Or did I buy this new one now because that car is having problem to me or giving problem to me? Mm -mm. It's still running fine. But I bought this one because of you. Mm -hmm. Right? So imagine somebody saying, oh, he bought this car because uh, his old car was giving him problem. Is that person saying the truth? No. You are my witness. That car still run good and I, I like that car. It still has some features this new one don't have. Mm -hmm. Right? Hey, but I bought it for, a, you know how many years you have been telling me to buy a change car, right? Mm -hmm. I say no, because I want you to start driving before that. So, but I have had Christians, believers saying, oh, something must have been wrong with your life. That's why you know. He's seeking the truth. If you seek after the truth, when you find the truth, what are you supposed to do? You change. What, what made you seek the truth? You're missing a piece of the puzzle. That doesn't make No, no what make me is because no. even, remember, my parents bombed me inside Anglican church. Mm -hmm. They are still in Anglican church. Mm -hmm. What made me leave Anglican church? You didn't like the things they were doing. No, you see, even if some people are in Anglican, they don't like what is going on, but they're still there. They say it's their parent, parents' religion. Mm -hmm. And they're going to die there too. Although you tell them the truth, show them the truth, this is not supposed to be happening. They are there. I've seen many people that are suffering that still remain. I, I, I used to have my own church. Mm -hmm. I closed it down to, enter, to join business because I, it was not working as I expected. You get that? Mm -hmm. I didn't say, oh, there is no God. That's why I leave the church. No. I was still a Christian. Some people you see in that church you are going today, they were going to another church before. Mm -hmm. But they left it for this one mm -hmm. because of what they were looking for. So when you are looking for truth, because when I was a Christian, I was living exactly, I want to be like Jesus in the Bible. I was not compromising. I was not into it for money or for just miracle, miracle. No. I would just wanted to live like Jesus, but you find out, no, he never existed. It's like you now want to be like the Spider-Man because you watch it in the movie. But you cannot be, you cannot be flying from building to building, no matter what. So that's, it's not that, oh, I had problems. Some people, it's, you know, some people become pastor because they were doing business. Their business was not going well, right? Mm -hmm. Some people tell them, oh, God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Do the work of God. Because when you do the work of God, guess what? You'll be collecting tithes and offering. Mm -hmm. Things will be working. You see that? You see why we have many pastors in Africa? Because Africa is a corrupt place and Africa is full of corruption that people are suffering. Even people that don't supposed to be suffering are suffering in Africa. Many pastors don't supposed to be pastors. They're supposed yeah, to be sure. inventors. They're supposed to be greater than that. But they don't know that being pastor brought them down. They don't know that. And you see Africans, oh, I believe in, I'm a child of God. They think they know what they're saying. No, you are greater than that God. That God cannot do shit for you. That God that cannot bless you. I was born, bless, blessing, there's no experience. Anyone we have in Christianity that I, have, I, have, I did not have. I have all that experience. I can speak people's future. I can do all that. But it's a natural thing. I still do that now. It has not stopped. I still see the future. I still dream. I still see, Because that's what our mind does. With our mind, we are connected to the universe. And the universe has infinite knowledge. Can teach us about the past, present, and the future. Without us, you know, being in tune with the universe, we will not even know the past. We will not know the future. All we know is the present. And you see some people telling you, live in the present. Live in the present. But do you know you cannot live well in the present if you don't know the, the past? You do, do you know that? Mm -hmm. For you to live well in the present, you're supposed to know the past. Then the past will make you know that there is nothing new under the sun. If that thing happened before, it will happen again. And it's happening now. Nothing new under the sun. 
So if if you if you look at what is happening, if you can study, you see in America they can predict when it will rain, right? Mm -hmm. They didn't say they do that in the name of God or Jesus. They were trained to know that, like as scientists and all that. But do you know in Africa or among black people, there's some pastors still really uh, waiting for God to reveal to them when it will rain. At this time and age. Yeah, bullshit, many bullshit. That's what is going on. Okay, look at Africa. If there is God, do you think you'll be in America today? Do you know many people that of your age, when you see them, you will think they are your mother already? Suffering. It is not the fault of their own, but just because they are in Africa, you see how they are suffering. At age of 17, you are sitting in your father's new car, right? Not that your father is a politician or is a religious leader. At the age of 17, guess where I was sitting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did in front of a mango tree. <laughs> Dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what? <laughs> so, my dear, uh, like, I'm happy for you. Uh, at least you you hear from me. We, we communicate. And I'm not hiding anything from you. I talk with you about everything sex everything all right mm -hmm. so uh because we don't supposed to be holding out i'm not bringing you up the way my parents brought me up at this my my when i was 17 18 19 20 even till i come to america self today my parents never discuss sex with me <laughs> never so, but I grew up to, so that's what I'm saying. We're supposed to follow the path that leads us to living a better life. Not just following it because our family is following it. Our majority of people is following it. No, that's where we remain in, in a spot. We are not moving forward as a people. If a man dies, his children begin to suffer. But when we follow the African family structure, when a man dies, if children still don't have problem because the family is there. Your uncles, your aunt will be there to take care of you. And one of your uncle can marry your, your mother also to be in the family. To be, but you see them, nah, I will not do that. Christian faith, I will not do that. I will not allow my husband, brother to marry me. You stupid, but you have vagina. So somebody else will be fucking you and you want to remain in their family. Then you begin to see problem. They say they're persecuting you. They're persecuting you because you are stupid. You are in the family. You're supposed to be there, live your normal life. Mm -hmm. No problem. I think it's your choice. I, mean, I wouldn't do that. That's nasty. That's what, thank you. But in America, here, yeah, you fuck somebody else, right? Yeah. And live, thank you. So to, to Africans, the American way is bullshit. <laughs> it's, and they see people suffering for that. So what am I saying? We're supposed to be changing. We are not, that you change doesn't mean, oh, because you are suffering. Uh, I mean, something terrible happened to you. That's why you change. No, change is supposed to be constant. Hmm? It's supposed to be constant. So you see something is not good, you change. Okay, no, I'm not going with that. When you find out somebody is lying to you, will you continue going with the person? Somebody, you say, this is my best friend. But you find out that your best friend actually don't love you, actually don't care about you. Will you continue saying that person is your best friend? No. So that's what I have to say, my dear. Let me go and eat. I'm hungry. Okay. We bought some food. So let me go eat, people. Have fun. All right. Bye, Mazi, Ozana, Muwakana. <laughs>